What if I told you that you can seamlessly integrate your digital twin, the data, the relationships, into Power Apps and Power Automate and other Power Platform things? Well, that's exactly what Shikar is here to tell you about on the IoT Show. Hi everyone, this is the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host, and today we'll talk about Azure Digital Twins and how we can simplify its integration into applications with low-code, no-code, thanks to Power Platform, mm -hmm. and a new connector. <gasps> that was a lot of words. <laughs> and for that, we have Shikar. Shikar, how are you? Hey, Olivier. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm Shikar. Yeah. Um, pretty so what, good are you to be here. what are you doing at Microsoft? Yes. Uh, I'm a product manager with Azure Digital Twins, okay. and one of my focus is integrating Azure Digital Twins with other services. Okay, so I kind of spoiled it a little, but mm -hmm. tell us what are you here to demo us and to tell us about today? I'm here to share uh, integrating Azure Digital Twins with Microsoft Power Platform using a connector. Okay, uh, any idea or any suggestions for scenarios where you would need to do that and what kind of application? We'll see one in a minute. Of course, But yeah. like at a high level, tell me a bit about you know, what kind of use case you're thinking here. I'm thinking of any use case where you would want to contextualize data, mm -hmm. and uh, you can look at um, the data in, through certain relationships okay. and be able to gain some insights uh, from it. Yeah, and while, while we're discussing and preparing for this episode, mm -hmm. um, we, we came to discuss the fact that ADT has been perceived as something that is, uh, so Azure Digital Twins will say ADT a lot here, mm -hmm. uh, is a service that has been very much involved or uh, used for IoT scenarios, right? Ingesting data from devices of various sorts, you know, putting all these things, data in relationship, and then extracting insights. Uh, and as a matter of fact, Digital Twins as a service is way more than just, than just IoT scenarios, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. as you were saying, it's about contextualizing data. So it's yeah. about putting data from different sources together. Um, so tell me a bit more about the kind of scenarios where, uh, and maybe kind of like a little spoiler about the, the demo mm -hmm. you're going to show, um, you know, what kind of data we can think of when it comes to scenarios that go beyond just the IoT scenario itself on its own. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of customers are actually coming to us uh, with scenarios where they are looking to kind of make improvements to processes. And these are manufacturing processes, supply chain processes, and they are non-IoT scenarios. And what customers really like uh, about ADT is the graph model that it provides them and to contextualize the data. It's pretty simple to kind of start uh, mm -hmm. building relationships uh, to the data and uh, look at it in a graph model so where they can traverse it through and gain insights. Yeah. And in, in, in a couple of minutes, we'll get to the demo, but it's, uh, it's about kind of looking at a distribution center, looking at uh, inventory in the distribution center, mm -hmm and how much it is procured, uh, where this inventory is, and which distribution center, and all that. And you can pretty easily query that and gain insights from it and address any issues. OK, so pretty powerful mm -hmm. way of uh, contextualizing data and accessing the data. Uh, there is another world that aims at simplifying things on mm -hmm. the app development side of things and business application type of things, which is Power Platform. Yeah. Uh, and so what are you doing these days is putting them together, right? Tell me a bit more about this connector. Yeah, so this connector actually uh, enables customers to incorporate Azure Digital Twins into Microsoft Power Automate, yeah. Microsoft Power Apps, and Azure Logic Apps. Right. Yeah, so uh, the connector is basically a wrapper around the data plane APIs. Uh, mm -hmm. of ADT instance and allows, them, allows customers to kind of build these automated workflows and apps uh, so that they can kind of, uh, without really using much code, and mm -hmm. they can kind of get started from a blank workflow, uh, talk to ADT instance, and kind of get going. OK, well, yeah, pretty straightforward. Actually, if you're not a developer, you don't need coding, mm -hmm. you can very rapidly get to an application, get to a flow in a matter of minutes with a drag and drop on a web page. If you are a developer, this, the type of integration we're seeing now is magic because you don't have to write a full-blown application to make use of data here. So totally. let's look. You have a demo here. Let's look at what the connector looks like, what features it offers in uh, Power Automate in that case, right? Yeah, yeah. Let me quickly show you what, how the connector is. So this is a Power Automate uh, flow, and I'm just getting started. So I'll create a new step, 
and I can search for Azure Digital Twins uh, among all the connectors that Power Platform offers. So here is the Azure Digital Twins connector. Yep. And you can see that it has a list of actions that you can take. And yep. each action is an API call that you make to the ADT instance. And you can use each of these actions as an operation in, terms of in, in your flow. Uh, I can, for example, select Add Twin. Essentially, you are making a API call without really like you know typing all the body and everything. It's a very usable interface, mm -hmm. and you can just like give the twin ID and provide the request body, and then kind of continue with your flow and add other operations that as you go along in building yeah. these uh, yeah. flows. And then combining flows, you will automate complex. Mm -hmm tasks, yeah, yeah. you know, that if, for example, you receive an email about an order, mm -hmm. right, you will extract the information from that order and feed in your digital twin with the information about this order or something like that, right? Yeah, totally. And um, I mean, I, I have an app. Um, yeah. And yeah, let's actually get to that. And uh, this is actually a, a power app uh, that I built. And uh, here, imagine you have a distribution center. Mm -hmm. and you are placing purchase orders to stock up the inventory. Okay. And you wanted to know at one point that uh, where this stock is in which distribution center. Okay. And, and in that, uh, you want to kind of talk, have your uh, SAP a system that is actually fulfilling these orders, kind mm -hmm. of uh, talk to your ADT instance and kind of uh, propagate all the digital ones. Okay. So, so here is my uh, Power App application, and this is the purchase order page. Mm -hmm. And here I integrated um, the uh, purchase order with a Power Automate flow. Okay. And uh, so the, uh, here I integrated um, Power Apps uh, with the Power Automate flow. Mm -hmm. and, and whenever you, but you put a purchase order, it, the flow gets triggered. Mm -hmm. And it goes through this series of steps where uh, it, the response is passed and it calls an SAP system okay. that goes and fulfills this order. And once the order has come back, um, it, it adds a twin uh, okay. for that order uh, in, in the edit instance. And it also adds an next step, uh, the relationship between that twin and the distribution center. So you'd know that these orders are in this distribution center. Okay. Right. So we can quickly take a look at uh, in action mm -hmm. and see how uh, this flow is actually going. So let me run my Power App. So in, in this uh, purchase, let me put uh, three printers. And I hit Submit. Okay. So the purchase order is um, created successfully. Now let's go verify um, the how the order gets executed in the Power mm -hmm. Automate. And, and here I see that this is a successful uh, flow. Yep. And I can go inside it. Uh, and it also helps me to debug if anything goes wrong. But I can see that all the steps were successfully completed. Now, this means that a purchase order is fulfilled, and I have this twin mm -hmm. actually added in my ADT instance. So I'll go into my ADT instance. and. Here, this is my ADT Explorer. Okay. And if I run the query to get all the purchase orders, it should be able to show me. So there you go. You have this purchase order. And I just added, um, like I procured printers, yep. and it, yep. it just uh, showed. So I can actually go into the Power App and do a, a few more purchases. Say I want five books. I don't see any credit card information <laughs> here. So. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. dangerous, so all... <laughs> Just buying stuff. <laughs> and let's say I want 100 pens. Pens are my favorite. <laughs> and say, OK, all these three purchase orders were successful. Okay. So we should go and see them in our digital representation when I query them. So yeah, there you go. You have all yeah. these orders. And uh, if I click this, so uh, this one is the printers. Uh, this one is the pens. And, you know, and I know that they're all related to this distribution center, yeah. 0001. Yeah, right. and, and it was it was done pretty simply using the connector into exactly. your flow. And now you can imagine having another application that allows the manager of this distribution center to just look at their their own like, list uh, yeah. of orders. Uh, and it's filtered instantly because you will just navigate Digital Twin through that app. Could be yeah. our app again, right? Yeah. And, and have a direct interaction with that data without any need for a code or for complex database queries, because here we are solving problems that would be solved you know, traditionally with mm -hmm. complex you know, relational database and a set of joint queries 
to gather totally, data from different right? areas, so, right? So yeah, imagine that you have to go uh, query your SAP system and then join those tables with uh, your uh, stocking yeah, order yeah. system somewhere and then be able to do it. Here you can just query this graph, mm -hmm. uh, go to distribution center and get all these purchase orders. Yeah. Indeed, I did that in, uh, in the Power App. Okay. Uh, so here I have another screen and if I look at it, so if I'm a manager and mm -hmm. I want to know like how many purchase orders okay. got in uh, created, and I can just go query them from my edit instance directly. Yeah. So this uh, click, it actually is going and querying my edit instance to get all the purchase orders. Nice. So I, I could see that you know these are the purchase orders that were placed, mm -hmm. and I, I got them as a list um, okay. directly by querying so edit I'll instance. So I'll now be able to mm -hmm. procure them or to fulfill them and make them available. And then you can consider that that list and that digital twin could be used in another mm -hmm. application yeah. that is about the shipping or whatnot. So that's, yeah, pretty magic. Totally. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> that's the that's the shortcoming with this kind of demos. They're so straightforward that they're super <laughs> short. Um, so I guess, you know, the next steps, what is the next step for our viewers here? What should they do? We are putting this all in a blog that okay. you can look at and then just go play with uh, your favorite Power Automate or Power Apps or Azure Logic Apps and uh, power your apps with Azure Digital Twins with a very simple experiences that you can build. Awesome, uh, with this platform. You know, uh, like there's no excuse. It's super simple. It takes minutes. <laughs> uh, you can go right? and build apps on top of digital twins. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it because that was something that was a bit, you know, difficult for people who are not data people. Mm -hmm. The notion of creating queries and so on. And now with Power Platform integration with that connector, it's all uh, together. So the link yeah. down there for the blog post. Thanks, Shakar. No uh, excuse to kind of, you know, exactly. get started building no apps now. <laughs> no excuse at all. And uh, well, I'm sure you're going to see more of Shikar on the IoT mm -hmm. show in the future as we're going to have more feature coming up for Azure Digital Twins. And uh, you know, thanks again. Thank you so much, Olivier.